we will all live in peace and prosperity in Nigeria, Osimbajo says amid insecurity and worsening economy. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo has assured Nigerians that the security challenges bedeviling the country will soon be forgotten. He revealed that the Nigerian government has increased efforts to adequately combat the insecurity, adding that the supplementary budget sent to the National Assembly for approval will, will address the procurement of military weapons for the use of all security agents in the country. Professor Sibajo disclosed this when he received in audience the Oluni of Inyekiti, His Royal Majesty Oba Adeola Adeni Ajakaye at the presidential villa Abuja. He however said that it is the obligation of every Nigerian citizen to support the nation's security services to ensure that Nigeria is safe, Vanguard reports. I can assure you that soon the issue of insecurity will be a thing of the past and that we will all live in peace and prosperity in this country, Osimbajo said. Osimbajo said that President Buhari has inaugurated a committee to examine the nitty-gritty of the security lapses in the country and address them from the foundation, which further propelled him to send the supplementary budget. He said, the president has recently constituted a committee that will look at the whole insecurity, the whole security infrastructure with a view to looking at the needs of the military as well as the police and security agencies. The result of that bill before the result of that is a bill before the National Assembly, a supplementary bill. The purpose of that bill is to present some of the needs of the military as well as of, ins of security agencies in order to be able to beef up uh, response to these security challenges. He emphasized the need for paramount rulers, local and state governments to partner with the Nigerian government to tackle insecurity. He said, any country with this number of insecurity uh, and you know un challenges must respond as robustly as possible. But it's also important to bear in mind that it takes a combined effort of all of us at the local government level, state and federal levels, all of the levels. We need to come together to tackle this issue of insecurity. He said, even as the Nigerian government is very concerned and will persistently upgrade efforts towards improving security nationwide, community efforts are also important in tackling the issue from the roots. He stated that it is an unavoidable conclusion that, the, that at the level of community, there is a need to take decisive action. As most of the security issues occur at the community level, the vice president expressed happiness that the traditional rulers, ha, or the traditional ruler himself, the actual um, Oba, has a committee in place in his domain organized for the purpose of tackling security, and that you've been able to contain the menace that we see in different parts of the country in your community. He added that the President Buhari-led administration will provide necessary support to the community in tackling its challenges, adding that the government is also working with the AKT state government on dealing with insecurity as well as various issues. In his remarks, the Oluyi of Ini AKT Oba Adeola Adeni Ajakaye thanked the Vice President for granting them audience and listening to their demands, including support for the establishment of a Federal University of Medical and Health Sciences in the community. All right. Um, I think, first of all, I don't know who he's talking to because the majority of Nigerians will not read this. The majority of Nigerians will not even have an idea of what is going on like this. Um, so again, I don't... It's just very ironic. I do not know why... Because again, it's like... How can you say a lot and still say nothing in one article, in my personal opinion? Um, because he's saying that they will all live in peace and prosperity. But then it's like the government itself is not proactive in making sure and, you know, pulling the pulling the strings that it's that he needs to um, to to fix all this issue. Um, because again, I think the only thing that is important here is the procurement of military weapons that you know we can actually talk about. And I think another ironic thing, which we'll get into later, is him talking about you know insecurity at the community level and how we all have to work together because all of this you know starts at the root, being the community level. And of course, you know, thanking the Oba for actually you know making sure that the his community himself they've taken you know, taken action to actually make sure that they protect themselves. 
we're gonna get into that conversation later because that is just the most ironic thing ever um, but starting with you know the procurement of military weapon um i don't know why there has to be it's it's so funny because when it comes to things like this they remote they, they want to follow the constitution they want to follow protocol they're talking about the supplementary bill and submitting it before the national assembly i'm like come on come on i mean in a country where funds are literally transferred and wired so easily and you know the the embezzlement of funds the the misuse of funds are literally they just transfer i mean come on money laundry i mean come on you you're you're, you're literally saying that these this these funds cannot be given until you go through the protocol of submitting a bill before the national assembly i'm like let's 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 okay let's be humble here okay let's not let's not do too much because we know we know your we know your record and we will open it out that's just what it is um so it's like i don't like it just he just said nothing he really just said nothing he really did just say nothing um and i think what's even more insulting i don't think he i don't think you know it's sort of a slap on their face and they made themselves look bad is the way he sort of again looked at you know the urban sort of you know commended him and his community for tackling issues of insecurity because apparently it starts from the root level blah, blah, blah. i mean come on since when do they ever include police um traditional rulers in you know in things like this and you know actually value their opinion no no disrespect to them but the constitution does not allow for traditional rulers to have an amount of power i mean if we're really gonna you know um look at traditional rulers and make them something i mean put them in the national assembly or something or as a senator or something but then if you're gonna neglect them and then when you need them you want to come and start you know rubbing hands it just doesn't make sense um and it's just like okay fine you're saying you you want to thank them for having a community effort in tackling these issues but then why did they do that why did they do that the real question is why did they do that they did that because your security agencies were not proactive. They were docile. They were subservient. They didn't do anything, to be honest. And them, they were in a, in a hard place because, first of all, if they take laws into their hands, they'd get arrested or get prosecuted or something. And if they don't, they'd get killed. So then, of course, they had to defend themselves. You expect them to just sit down there and watch that, you know, they'd go through insecurity, their people would die unnecessarily. Absolutely not. So, again, it's just a bit ironic. I mean, I don't know everything here i i genuinely have like no idea what he just said um he just talking in circles um i don't know why he turned into a motivational speaker like i don't understand why he was saying oh at all levels we need to make sure it's the duty and it's you know every nigerian citizen is obligated i'm come on come on come on come on please 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 um and someone puts a comment here says heaven might forgive lucifer but will never forgive this pharisee called usimbajo for his silent atrocities Oof, that's it. Put what you think about this in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.